Hello. I just wanted to have a discussion about something that has uh, bothered me and bothered most people in the United States of America and other countries is the idea of abortion, which is a very controversial issue. I have known people who have had an abortion. I even considered it one time, to be honest. I did not go through with it because I thought of the long-term ramifications of what I was doing. And at the moment, on how it would affect me. And then, of course, looking back and trying to imagine my life without that child is just horrendous. One thing I do want to bring up is that one thing that is not discussed, it is the long-term psychological effect it has on women. I believe it does have a long-term effect. I believe that for most women, there is guilt. I'm not saying all women. And for those who have no guilt, I somewhat question their mental state. I believe that life is at conception. The most difficult part about abortion would be if a woman was raped, which is already a psychological nightmare. But I don't know of the good it would do to have an abortion and not just give it up for adoption. Um, probably would be the most difficult nine months of that woman's life, possibly, but uh, there are successful cases of women caring to term and giving up for adoption, and some women, rare, keeping the child. So there are success stories where that happens. Now, a lot of us have conceded to abortion. A lot of us were born, nearly, I was close, where abortion became legal. So it's been legal my whole life. I never knew a world where it wasn't an option. I do not believe that other people should pay for it. Um, I believe it is made way too easy. Um, of course, medical reasons where the mother's life's in danger, the baby's possibly anencephalic, meaning it doesn't have a brain, only has a brain stem, will only live seven days after birth. There are severe cases where, you know, an abortion would be appropriate for medical reasons. But this is a person who deserves a chance. And we've come to the point in this world where people are using it as a, like, how would you say it? A last ditch option? Oh, well, if I get pregnant, I could just have an abortion. Or if the contraceptives don't work, I can just have an abortion. Um, some multiple, multiple times, which is sad. I just wanted to state my case and also put out there that I empathize and sympathize with women out there who face very difficult circumstances. But do know that there are people out there who would love to have a child and can't. That you would be giving the greatest gift that anybody could ever give, which is the gift of life and the chance at a wonderful life with two adults that want the child. So do please consider it. It's, 
it's the most unselfish thing that anybody could ever do. And in today's world, we have too much, <laughs> too much of uh, selfishness to the extreme going on. Everybody needs to take care of themselves, otherwise they can't take care of anybody else. I do understand that, but uh, some people take that to the hilt, the extreme. So this is my two cents, and I don't expect everybody to agree with me. But after the New York law put into place, which is just disgusting and um, frankly unbelievable that they would take it that far it, I had to say something so for the women out there and the men who are the fathers give the father a chance let him take the child if he wishes Give them a chance to. And give that baby a chance to have a life, a good life. It is a possibility. And if we take abortion off the table, people will stop misusing it. Like they have been, a lot of people have been misusing it for decades now. The number of babies aborted in this country runs in the millions. And I just, it just, I've held a baby. I've carried a baby. I've watched my children grow to are adults now. And I just can't imagine them not be get, not having a chance at life. With or without me or with someone else. I just can't imagine it. So just really consider that and also consider the psychological damage that it does to women for the rest of their lives. I saw a old, um, I think it was in the early 90s or 80s, it had to have been the 80s, where they brought back a move, uh, TV series where a woman kept running into a child over and over again in different places but was never close enough to talk to him and then one day she finally was able to talk to him and she asked him his name and he said I don't have a name she said what do you mean you don't have a name he said you never gave me a name and it was the child that she had aborted like eight years prior I know it's just a TV series, but it hit me hard, and I saw that when I was very young. I think it was the Twilight Zone, actually, but that one little series right there was ingrained in my mind, and it never left. So, give them a chance. Let them have a name. Let them run and play and laugh and if you can't do it because you're not financially able let somebody else take it just my thought have a great evening